Hi, I'm Ben from Universal Audio, and today I'm going to show you a couple tricks for using the UAD Moog Multimode Filter XL plugin. Now the great thing about the XL version of the UAD Moog filter is that not only do you get all the drive, the warmth, and the smoothness of the Moog filter, but now you also get four lane step sequencer, which allows you to automate any parameter inside the plugin and add extra rhythm and movement to a track. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So for this first example, I've pulled up a simple synth based track and I've already inserted the Moog XL plugin. And now I'm just gonna tweak the drive and the cutoff controls until I'm getting a fat, warm, round sound that I'm looking for. Let's take a listen. So now what's great about the XL filter is it doesn't have to stay static. Now I can use the envelope, I can use the two built-in LFOs, or if I hit the edit button down here, it brings me to my step sequencer. The first thing I'm gonna do to start using the step sequencer is hit the sync button. So now this is gonna lock to my session tempo and keep everything in time with the rest of the part. So now what I wanna do with the space is I wanna add a little bit of an offbeat pattern to it to complement the floor and the floor drums. So what I'm gonna do is in the filter cutoff lane on steps three, seven, 11, and 15, I'm gonna go from where the filter is now to wide open. Let's hear what that sounds like. Now you can hear the bass go mm, wah, mm, wah, kind of opening up in rhythm. Now if that's too severe of a transition, there's a glide knob that allows you to smooth out the transitions between on and off. So a little bit of glide kind of smoothed out that transition. And then I also added a little bit more to the amount, which just exaggerates the effect. So let's see what this bass sounded like with no filtering. And now with the filter. So there I've taken a simple eighth note bass pattern and given it a little bit more interest, a little bit more life, and I think it'll fit great inside the track. So now for this next example, I'm gonna pull up a synth pad and see if we can add some more interest and motion to it as well. So now I'm gonna play back this track and tweak the cutoff. So now I've taken away a lot of the high end. What I wanna do is I wanna add that back, but add that back with a cool rhythmic element to it. So to do that, I'm gonna synchronize my LFOs and set LFO B to quarter note and set the waveform to a ramp up. You might recognize this kind of sound. It's almost like a side chain effect, right? But that's with a filter. Now, on top of that quarter note filter, what if we add an eighth note filter? So now one LFO is going at quarter notes, the other LFO is going at eighth notes. Let's see what that sounds like. Pretty cool, but I like the quarter note better than the eighth note, but a touch of the eighth note might be cool. That's where the balance knob comes in handy. So if I turn the balance all the way to B, it's now only listening to the LFO B. And I'm gonna dial that back until I get just enough of LFO A, which is on eighth notes, to give me the rhythm interest that I'm looking for. So as you can hear, that's adding a ton of rhythmic motion and movement to the sound that it didn't have before. So now for this last example, let's see what the Moog Filter XL sounds like on drums. 
So I don't know if I've mentioned this yet, but my favorite part about the UAD Moog filter plugins is the input drive, the saturation, the crunch, the grit that these things can generate is, it's, it's awesome. So to start off on these drums, I'm gonna hit the plus 20 switch and start driving the input. Yeah, that seems like a fair amount of saturation. Well, now it's also a little bit harsh, yes, but guess what, we're using a filter plugin. It's got a cutoff filter, that'll tame that. So now I've got a super saturated, very filtered sounding drum. I mean, it's losing a little bit of its life. So I could just undo all that fun stuff, but that's not fun. Let's go a little bit further. So I'm gonna use the envelope to open up the cutoff every time a drum hits and then back away in between. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crank up the sensitivity knob until you see the light here in the middle activating when you would want the filter to be activated and then increase the amount to hear the effect take hold. So after I adjusted the amount, I also went and tweaked the cutoff, the resonance, and also the slope shape, which just takes it from being a 24 dB filter down to about a 12 dB per octave filter. So now let's play with the attack and release times to dial in the sound exactly how I want it. So that's a pretty obnoxious amount of saturation and effect going on for these drums. And it might not be right for this song or any song, but the idea here is what's key. Adding saturation, using the filter to round it out, and then using the envelope to add back extra rhythmic interest. That's what this plugin does best. So that's a few examples of how I like to use the UAD Moog Multimode Filter XL plugin. Now, as you saw, I was able to quickly add saturation, warmth, and most importantly, rhythmic interest to parts with the sequencer, the LFO, and also the envelope. Now you can learn more about this plugin at uaudio.com, or if you already own a UA interface or UAD hardware, you can actually demo this plugin for free for 14 days right now. So I suggest throwing us on some tracks, pulling up some presets, playing around with it, get weird, have fun, and I'll see you next time.